believe it is politically possible to undo the entitlements bankrupting this country? And if so, what course would you recommend to undo this legislation? Uh, yes, I do if, if you're willing to be honest with the people and stop the spin and stop focusing on just trying to get reelected for your selfish means. Um, I'm not a career politician. I'm willing to take on this uh, effort. I'm willing to serve. Uh, the, the Congress should be a citizen's legislature. Instead, it's made up of career politicians uh, that just try to fool the people most of the time. So we certainly have a, a big, big problem. I think hopefully a majority of Americans would be would be open to um, straight talk that the, the, the entitlements and the, the promises have been made uh, are unsustainable. Uh, in almost all the big entitlement programs, there's really, really whether you, go, you, you can tick them off, Social Security, prescription drug benefits, Medicare, now Obamacare, this, that, and everything. Every entitlement we have, we, we have we, in no way do the demographics um, in any way point toward the ability to afford these entitlements. Uh, I'm not afraid to bring them up. The worst that could happen is I is, 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 don't get reelected, but I'm willing to be honest and straightforward to, with folks um, about the costs and, and the fact that I think we have to start living within our means. And, um, you know, it's, it's a very mature thing to talk about austerity. But I think not only the United States, the entire world right now needs to be more austere. What do you believe the federal government's role is regarding the Second Amendment? Uh, adhere to it. I mean, it's a, it's a sacred amendment, I believe in it strongly. Uh, if there was ever a time to have a check and balance on the government and, and, and to be concerned about the tyranny of government it is right now with this current administration. So uh, the right to bear arms is, is something that's um, extremely important and one, one, a right that I would never want to see infringed upon. Well, what are your thoughts regarding the Patriot Act? Well, uh, I can't tell you. I'm an expert on it. I know there have been various iterations of it. I can't recall if one part of it expired and got renewed. Uh, don't hold me to that. Uh, Certainly, it was enacted at a time of crisis. Um, I think the general principles and tenets about protecting, uh, regarding our intelligence and protecting our national security were good ones. Um, whether it needs to be um, uh, tweaked and, and, and looked at for to 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 um, to uh, fit. The, the current realities, that may be something that I would be open to. But the, in general, the general principles of it, I think we're good. Okay. I have a follow-up to the uh, entitlements. Now, um, consider the federal government not being able to repeal or reduce any um, entitlement spending that there is right now. What is your opinion of what would happen four years down the road, assuming that would be, what state would the federal government um, be in? What state would our country be in economically if we continued on the path we're on, including cap and trade right. and other things? Uh, again, you can't spend money you don't have. And a lot of what we do depends on our Asian landlords, how much they're willing to uh, continue to fund uh, this madness. And that's what it is. Okay, it'll be that much of a simple answer. Uh, the, the federal government is essentially insolvent. Um, okay. um, do you believe a state has the right to nullify a federal law? Uh, the, that, that's... The, uh, you know, I did very well in constitutional law in law school, but that was 30 years ago. I actually got the Amjur Award for one of the best grades, but I've been practicing real estate law for 30 years. So, uh, you know, the Tenth Amendment, again, is extremely important. Uh, I believe, uh, as Ronald Reagan said, the United States of America is a union of sovereign states. Um, in terms of nullifying laws, it, it, you know, it's really, it's really a question whether 
um, it's within the, the, the rights in the Constitution. So that would be my answer there. The Kilo eminent domain decision was a bad one. What can or will you do about this? Or do you feel it is out of your hands and suggest that we just move on? Uh, it certainly isn't, isn't a big, is not a big part of my platform. I mean, I'm sympathetic to, um, to, to uh, eminent domain uh, takings that are not legitimate. Um, and if, if they're really to help another uh, private business, and, and if it's not for the, the public good, there certainly is probably room for, you know, there's a need for eminent domain, and I, and I think it, it is constitutional to some extent as long as there's proper compensation. Um, probably a matter for the courts, and uh, not, not one that uh, I think a freshman congressman would have a whole lot to do with, quite frankly. Going forward, what do you believe our policy should be on the war on terror? Uh, continue to be vigilant. Uh, but at the same time, I think we have to uh, be practical and pragmatic about the costs. And um, I'm probably very traditional Republican, probably, probably I'm so conservative that, that I'm essentially opposed to intervention in foreign wars, Take, going back to the original Republican position. So I think we have to be mindful of the costs of um, long, long-term commitments and occupations. Uh, but I think we have to secure our borders and use all reasonable means to keep our country safe. Uh, I'm usually looking for a reduction in the size of government and cutting spending that we can't afford with possibly the exception of the defense industry because we are the last, the last hope against tyranny in the world. Because I really can't count on anybody else anymore, especially Europe, to protect us. So we're probably going to end up. Another reason why I'm so concerned about uh, the spendthrift nature of this administration and this, and this Democrat-controlled Congress, that it, it, it threatens the greatness of our country. And, uh, and, and we need to be strong. We need to be able to afford to protect freedom and liberty. Um, and it's a burden that only we carry. And Boy, I'd love to hear if you have a, can think of any alternatives anybody else that could carry that burden. 